The number of people arriving at the southern border has reached its highest level in more than two decades. The Homeland Security Department said in a court filing that authorities encountered more than 221,000 migrants along the border with Mexico last month. This comes as the Biden administration prepares to lift Title 42, which has been used since the start of the pandemic to prevent migrants from entering the country without even being able to request asylum. Joining us now, NBC News correspondent Julia Ainsley, who covers Homeland Security and the Justice Department. Julia, good morning. What, what's driving the increase in the numbers of people showing up at the southern border? Well, Jose, it's not what we've seen in the past. You and I have both reported on people from the Northern Triangle in Central America, El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala, coming to the border. Now those people are largely blocked under Title 42. The nationalities now that we're seeing cross, especially last month, is Mexicans, who are by and large sent back into Mexico, but also Cubans and Ukrainians. Those are now the top three nationalities. It's very different from immigration trends we've seen in the, top, in the past. And from officials I've spoken to inside DHS, they say because of Cuba's policy of not accepting back people who come to the United States, they instead are taking them in. It's not logical or, or logistical to push them back under Title 42. So they're taking them in, and they say that's driving more Cubans as well as political and natural disasters in Cuba that have uh, led these people to come here. And of course, Ukrainians, as are people fleeing Ukraine. And because the Biden administration hasn't yet set up a very quick and uh, expeditious way to get people here legally, they're crossing the border illegally instead. You know, it's, it's amazing to see just the number of people that are leaving their country, their entire life, their history, their background, to look for a new life in the United States. I mean, Cuba, the repression has been on the increase since after the July 11th protests against that regime. Venezuela, Nicaragua, Haiti is going through such difficult times. Julie, I'm just wondering, with the government real, dealing with this reality, now what about come the end of May when Title 42 is lifted. Is there any plans? Does the government have any plans in place? Well, Jose, we will have more on that on Nightly News tonight. But there are actually a lot of people who are crying out for more of a plan. We know from DHS, they say they want to work with local partners. They want to add additional resources. They're surging more law enforcement to the border. But as far as a plan on who will get in first, that doesn't seem to be in the works yet, or at least not made public. We know that there are over 170,000 people waiting in Mexico, some as long as a year, in terrible conditions where they're often exploited because of their illegal status in Mexico. So when you look at the lifting of Title 42 at the end of May that will let in not only those people, but could drive other migration from those countries, as well as the, the uh, economic and political crises happening throughout our hemisphere, and let alone now the world, when we have Ukrainians coming here, it looks like this May could really be a perfect storm where we could get even higher numbers. We already know that the numbers hit in March overwhelmed communities. Now it seems it could be an even higher number.